Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii State Senate Joint Committee uh, hearing on this Monday, March 21st at 1 p.m. This is a joint hearing between the Senate Committees on Health and Transportation. I'm Jared Kiohokalole, Chair of the Health Committee. I'm joined by my Vice Chair, Senator Roz Baker, uh, Senator Joyce San Buenaventura, and Senator Kurt Favela. Uh, I'd like to welcome Co-Chair Lee. Would you like to introduce members? Uh, good to be here. Uh, our committee, myself, uh, uh, Senator DeCoy and Senator Kurt Favela here with us this afternoon. Thank you very much. This meeting is being streamed live on YouTube. Uh, if we need to abruptly end this hearing, the committee will try to reconvene to discuss any outstanding business on Wednesday, March 23rd at 1.35 p.m. And a public notice will be posted on the legislature's website. Uh, for most of you that are here, you know we have a two-minute uh, testimony limit here in order to provide the opportunity for us to get through all the bills today and vote them out. Uh, please wait your turn. We'll do in-person testifiers first, followed by our friends on the internet. And uh, we do have your written testimony, so I'd encourage you to stand on it unless you have anything new or specific you'd like to uh, add to your testimony. And we apologize if your name, if the captioning doesn't accurately transcribe your name. Uh, first up is HB 2338 HD1 relating to state drug and alcohol toxicology testing laboratory. This appropriates money from the highway fund to the Department of Health's state drug and alcohol toxicology testing lab. Uh, first up, we have the Department of Health and Support. Good afternoon, Chairs, Vice Chair, and Honorable Senate Committee members. My name is Richard. Psyche, representing the Hawaii Department of Health. We are in strong support of this measure and stand on our written testimony. I will remain available for questions. Thank you very much. Next, we have the Honolulu Police Department, Mr. Okubo. You are on mute. Director. Okay, we have you now. Go ahead. Um, good afternoon, chairs and members. I'm Acting Forensic Laboratory Director Kiwo Kubo of the Honolulu Police Department Scientific Investigation Section. The Honolulu Police Department stands on our submitted testimony in support of House Bill 2338. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and also offering late testimony, we have the Department of Transportation, uh, Deputy Director McKay. Chair Keo Kalole, Vice Chair Baker, Chair Lee, and members of the committee, the Department of Transportation is in support of the measure. And in the interest of time, we would like to stand on a written testimony. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's all the testimony we have registered. Is there anyone else who'd like to testify? <laughs> okay, members, any questions on this measure? All right, we'll move to the, the next measure on this agenda, HB 2339 HD1, making an emergency appropriation to the state drug and alcohol toxicology testing laboratory special fund. Department of Health in support. Good afternoon, chairs, vice chairs, and <clears throat> honorable, honorable Senate committee members. Again, my name is Richard Psyche, representing the Hawaii Department of Health. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, are you able to activate? Okay, yeah. go ahead. Thank okay, you. sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. We are in strong support of this measure and stand on our written testimony. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Okubo, in support. Um, good afternoon. My name is Acting um, Hio Okubo, Acting Forensic Laboratory Director of the Honolulu Police Department Scientific Investigation Section. The Honolulu Police Department stands on our submitted testimony in support of House Bill um, 2339. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deputy Director McCain. Chair Keo Kaloli, Vice Chair Baker, Chair Lee, and members of the committees, the Department of Transportation is in support of the measure and in the interest of time, we would like to stand on our written testimony. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's all the testimony we've received. Members, are there any questions? Okay, seeing none, uh, with the indulgence of the committees, I think we can go into decision-making on this unless anyone needs time. Okay. okay, so uh, the recommendation on these measures is to move both of them out 
uh, unamended, I would note that there are defective dates on these measures and they are going to the Ways and Means Committee for determination on funding. Uh, is there any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Vice Chair, on the first measure, HB 2338, HD1, the recommendation is to pass unamended. Chair votes aye. Pass unamended, Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Moriwaki. Excuse, Senator Sam Buenaventura. Aye. Senator Favela. Aye. Chair, your uh, recommendations adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the Transportation Committee. Uh, noting our uh, Vice Chair excused, I'll be taking the vote for us. Uh, the recommendation is the same on 2338 HD1 passing unamended. I'll vote aye. Uh, Vice Chair Inouye excused. Senator DeQuay. Aye. Senator Shubukuro excused. And Senator Favela. Aye. Thank you. Recommendation adopted. Thank you very much. And the final measure on this agenda, HB 2339 HD1. This is the EA for the State Drug and Alcohol Toxicology Testing Lab Special Fund. The recommendation is also to pass unamended. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Of the other members present, any reservations or no votes? Hearing none, measures. Uh, and noting the excused uh, presence of uh, Senator Moriwaki, uh, the other members vote aye. Chair, your recommendations about this. Thank you. Thank you, Committee of Transportation. Same recommendation, noting the excused absence of Vice Chairs Inouye and uh, Senator Shimabukuro. Are there any reservations or no's? If not, recommendation adopted. Thank you very much. We are adjourned. Okay, good afternoon. We're going to open on our Monday, March 21st, 1 10 p.m. health agenda to consider two bills. The first is HB 1635 HD2 relating to health care. This establishes the Rural Health Task Force within the Department of Health to prepare and develop solutions and make recommendations on registered nurse recruitment and retention in rural areas of Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. First up, we have the Department of Health offering comments. Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Shim. I'm Chief of the Family Health Services Division. The department stands on its testimony providing comments, and I'm here to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all the registered testimony I see on this measure. Is there anyone else who would like to testify on this bill, HB 1635? Okay, I'd like to note for the record the written testimony of the Department of Human Services offering comments, the Hawaii State Center for Nursing offering comments, and the following organizations submitting testimony in support. Uh, Chair Alice Lee of the Maui County Council, the Hawaii Primary Care Association, uh, the Lanai Community Health Center, the Maui Chamber of Commerce, Queens Health Systems, and late testimony from the Molokai Community Health Center. Members, any questions? Okay, seeing none, we'll move to the next measure on the agenda, HB 1823, HD2, uh, relating to health. This authorizes APRNs and physician assistants to practice medical aid in dying or provide counseling to a qualified patient. Uh, first up, offering comments, the Department of Health. The Department will stand on its testimony, offering comments. Thank you very much. Next, we have Compassion and Choices, offering testimony and support. We also stand on our Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have Aubrey Hawk. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee. I'm Aubrey Hawk. I stand on my testimony, and I would also like to add that in my volunteer role as a patient navigator for patients who are seeking to access this law, I have most recently received calls from desperate patients in Pa'ia Maui, Pukalani Maui, Kihei Maui, Pahoa, Big Island, and Waianae, Oahu. None of these people have been able to find a doctor who can support them. And that's why I'm firmly in support of this bill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we have Malachi Grange, Mary Steiner, and Becky Gardner. They all registered 
to testify in person. Okay, we'll move to Zoom, and if they join us, then uh, we can take their testimony. Uh, next, we have Leanne Tashima from the Board of Nursing offering comments. Thank you, um, Chair Keoho Kalole, um, Vice Chair Baker, members of the committee. Um, the Board of Nursing will stand on its written comments. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we have Craig uh, Nakatsuka. Thank you, uh, Honorable Chair, Vice Chair, and members of co the committee. My name is Dr. Craig Nakatsuka. I am testifying in opposition to House Bill 1823 HD2. While I'm not in full opposition to the entire content of this bill, I registered um, two concerns. The first is regarding the waiving of the waiting period if the individual is expected not to survive the said waiting period. That's very concerning. As a recently retired hospice physician, I can tell you that someone with only two weeks survival in general does not have the physical cognitive ability or emotional stability to be able to ingest the lethal concoction. This waiver leaves the door wide open for abuse with pressured MDs likely to give such a dire prognosis just so that the individual could obtain the medication. I therefore recommend that this amendment be uh, deleted. And just a quick awareness one regarding the expansion of providers to advanced nurse practitioners and physicians assistants. The reminder that under Medicare rules, they are not allowed to prescribe narcotics that are as part of the lethal medication cocktail. And if their duties are therefore just for counseling, quote unquote, then that still remains the problem of getting physicians to be able to prescribe the lethal narcotics. And you would have to either get a um, go-to physician with a significant bias, or you're still left with physician hesitancy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next, we have the Hawaii Association for Professional Nurses in support. The Hawaii Medical Board offering comments. Uh, good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee, Alani Kiyoki, Executive Officer. The board will stand on this written uh, testimony providing comments. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, HPH in support. Hi, thank you. This is Michelle Cantillo, RN for Hawaii Pacific Health. I, we stand on a written testimony and I'll be here for any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Hawaii Society of Clinical Oncology in support. <clears throat> Uh, good afternoon, Chair and Vice Chair. Um, my name is Dr. Charles Miller. I am on the board of the uh, board of directors of the Hawaii Society of Clinical Oncology. This is the largest organization in the state representing oncology cancer specialists. And I'm also the director of the Hawaii, uh, the Kaiser Hawaii uh, Medical Aid and Dying Program. I am sure that I have had more than uh, more experience with aid in dying in the state than any other physician. I've been doing it since the law became active in January of 2019. And I have seen, I have been referred over 125 patients in the last three plus years. Um, I just wanna make two points about this. It, it's, uh, it's very, uh, there are barriers. While the law works well for some patients, there are barriers, especially uh, in, the, in the waiting period. And fully one third of the patients that I have seen in the last three years have died during their waiting period, uh, unable to take full advantage of the law. So I think it's vital that we reduce the waiting period and allow the attending physician that right to waive the waiting period. And I can tell you, I've seen these patients. So when I walk in, I can look at them and I, I mean, my best clinical judgment is they're not gonna make the 20 days. The other point I'd like to make is related to the physician shortage in all of the islands. And that's, uh, as uh, Aubrey Hawk mentioned earlier, uh, that's, <clears throat> an unending problem so far. And I would strongly encourage uh, allowing the APRNs, advanced practice registered nurses and uh, 
physicians that get some assistance um, to participate in this law fully thank, as providers. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next, we have the Stonewall Caucus of the Democratic Party of Hawaii, Mr. Goliou. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Michael Goyo Jr. on behalf of the Stonewall Caucus of the Democratic Party of Hawaii. We stand in full support of this uh, bill and we urge you to pass it as is. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anyone else online who would like to testify on this measure? Okay, uh, that's all the registered testifiers we have. I'd also like to note for the record, uh, the following individuals in opposition, we have uh, Eva Andrade for the Hawaii Family Forum, uh, Chelsea Domingsil, Dara Carlin, and Daniel Fishberg. Uh, offering comments, we have the Hawaii Psychiatric Medical Association and the following individuals in support, Mary Uyeda, Jane Arnold, Bob Grossman, Karen Ireland, Carla Hess, Brian Goodyear, Bob Gohal, Caroline Biederman, uh, Kathleen Johnson, Stephanie Marshall, Brenda Machowski, David Geely, and Carolyn Kunitake, and Rick Tabor. Uh, members, any questions? Okay. You know, the, uh, I would like to note that there were a number of offered amendments from the Hawaii Psychiatric Medical Association. I did have some questions about those, uh, those suggested amendments, but because they are not available, I think we'll just move into uh, a recess for decision making. Recess. Okay, reconvening our Monday, March 21st, 1.10 p.m. health agenda to vote on two measures. The first is HB 1635 HD2. Uh, the recommendation on this measure is to accept the Department of Human Services offered amendment, adding a representative from Malama Ikeola Health Center and Molokai Community Health Center to the task force and expanding the scope of the task force's duties to include rural areas of all of Maui. Uh, yeah, and I note that there's uh, still a defective date on this measure. Members, any discussion? You want to say Maui County or not? Oh, Ma Ro yes. D we will expand the scope of the task force duties to include rural areas of all of Maui County because the task force is related to Maui County. Right. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing none, uh, Vice Chair HB 1635 HD2 passing with amendments. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Moriwaki is excused. Senator Sam Buenaventura. Aye. Senator Favela. Aye. Thank you, members. Chair, your recommendations adopted. Thank you very much. The next measure is HB 1823 HD2 relating to health. This is the uh, medical aid in dying bill. The recommendation here is to uh, move the bill out with an amendment. One amendment suggested by the uh, Hawaii Psychiatric Medical Association. It was their uh, second offered amendment, which uh, requires the prescribing provider to conduct an initial visit with the patient in person. Uh, so that's, I think that's the only amendment. Yes. And I'd also like to note that this, uh, this measure has a a defective date as well before, uh, and we'll be moving on to uh, the vice chair's committee. Uh, members, any discussion? Oh, we also have some technical non-substantive amendments. Any discussion? Okay, seeing none, vice chair uh, passing with amendments. Chair votes aye. Vice chair votes aye. Senator Moriwaki is excused. Senator Sam Buenaventura. Aye. Senator Favela. No. Thank you. Chair, your recommendation is adopted. Okay, thank you very much. We do have a 1.30 p.m. joint agenda with the Waterland Committee. Uh, and until then, we are adjourned.
Good <laughs> afternoon. We're going to open on our Monday, March 21st, 1.30. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, this is our 1.30 p.m. agenda. It's a joint hearing between the Senate Committee on Health and the Senate Committee on Water and Land to consider HB 1954 HD2, making an emergency appropriation uh, to fund a grant to the Board of Water Supply for emergency operations, future planning, and groundwater remediation. Uh, first up, offering comments online, we have the Water Commission. Hello, chairs, vice chairs, and committee members. Kaleo Manuel, deputy with the Water Commission. Uh, we stand on our um, testimony, uh, appreciating the intent, and offering comments or following amendments. Um, just to clarify that um, including outreach, education, and water conservation should be fundable activities under this grant. Um, as kind of indicated in even the information briefing today, that one thing we have control over is how we um, use our water. And if we can start to conserve that now, that'll help us in the future. Um, here for questions, uh, I'm also here with staff Neil Fuji from the Water Commission. Mahalo. Okay, thank you. I do see Mr. Fuji registered. So I guess if we have questions, then uh, then uh, either of you can make yourselves available. Thank you. Uh, Board of Water Supply and Support. Okay. Aloha Chair, Vice Chair. Um, Kathy mentioned with the Board of Water Supply testifying on behalf of Manager and Chief Engineer Ernie Lau. Uh, we stand on our written testimony in strong support of this measure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Susan Pocola Davis in support. Oh, there we go. Hello. Presentation this morning, as far as the Board of Water Supply giving us some detailed eye openers. Um, I do support any money being put forth for this catastrophe and its worst case scenario waiting to happen. I said the reason why we have to protect our water sources. And so Board of Water Supply has closed three sources to prevent fuel contamination. Why? Because if there's a leak in the tunnel, it becomes a fire hazard. The facility is already having issues, still having issues with the fire suppression system. And remember the drain that no one knew about, which actually allowed for the fuel to get into the water. The Department of the Navy has distributed nation binders cutting the 19 zones that were contaminated. They're available at the public library, but you can also get them online. It's very hard to tell you how much information is to those binders because as a lay person reading through them, there's many questions as to what they're saying, what has been done, and what looks like it has been done. The problem we have right now is there's no predictability. I believe the aquifer is contaminated. We just have no idea of how contaminated. Hopefully the, this money will be used to expedite any kind of exploratory wells. But we have to remember it's all part of Oahu's water system. And we are looking to the legislature to the appropriation for all of Oahu. I thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all the registered testimony we've received on this measure. Is there anyone in the room or on the internet that we missed? We're on HB 1954. Okay, seeing none, I'd like to note for the record, the written testimony of 25 individuals, uh, four offering comments and 21 in support. Members, any questions on this measure? Okay, seeing none. Uh, Chair, do we need to reset? Yeah. Oh, quick question. What is the Senator Revere. 
Um, is it, do we know the amount of money or an approximate range of funds that uh, they're seeking? Uh, Kathleen, are you available to take that question? You're muted. The uh, total cost, um, the water <clears throat> supply is planning for at least five um, exploratory wells and just one well is in the millions. So whatever help you can get. So is that a request for 5 million? Board of Water Supply appreciates whatever you can provide. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jim. Okay, members, any other questions? Okay, if not, uh, we can move can into. I have a form. So can you... Yeah, I have a form. Now, so can you... Okay, let's move into uh, decision making. Yeah. Okay, so the recommendation on this measure is to move it out with amendments. Uh, the first is to accept the offered amendments by the Water Commission, uh, which adds some detail to the purpose of the appropriation to include outreach, education, and water conservation activities. Um, members, I'd also like to note that the appropriation amount uh, is blank. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the recommendation is to move this out and allow the Ways and Means Committee uh, to consider the measure. Any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Vice Chair HB 1954 HD2 passing with amendments. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Moriwaki? Aye. Senator Sam Buenaventura? Aye. Senator Favela? Aye. Chair, your recommendations adopted. Thank you very much. Thank you for the Committee on Water and Land. Same recommendation is to pass HB 1954 House Draft 2 with amendments. Any discussion? Hearing none, um, Senator uh, Revere for the vote, please. Chair votes aye. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair Keith Agron is excused. excused. Uh, Senator Misa Lucha excused. is excused. I vote aye. Senator Favela? Aye. Uh, measure adopted, Chair. Okay, hey, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. We're adjourned. Okay, good afternoon. We are here for this Monday, March 21st, 2 p.m., joint hearing agenda between the Senate Committee on Health and the Committee on Public Safety, Intergovernmental and Military Affairs. Uh, this was a deferred decision-making on a matter that we heard last week, HB 1893, HD1, relating to the Oahu Regional Healthcare System. This measure requires the transfer of the Daniel K. Akaka State Veterans Home to the Oahu Regional Healthcare System and then to the Department of Health as part of the Oahu Regional Healthcare System transfer pursuant to Act 212, Session Laws of Hawaii 2021. Uh, having conferred with the chair and the members of the committee, the recommendation here is to pass this measure with amendments. Uh, we're going to strike section three of the bill, which initiates the transfer pursuant to Act 212 because uh, that language has already been heard and voted on in this committee in another legislative vehicle. Uh, but we will keep the transfer of the state veterans home uh, pieces in parts one and two moving. And I'd like to note that there is also a defective date on this measure. Uh, members, any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Vice Chair HB 1893 HD1 passing with amendments. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Moriwaki? Aye. Senator Sam Buenaventura? Aye. Senator Favela is excused. Chair, your recommendations adopted. Okay, for the public safety and governmental same recommendation passes as amended. Chair goes aye. Members vote on HB 1893 with amendment. Chair votes aye. Senator Baker. Aye. Senator Rivera. Excuse. Senator Favela. Excuse. Oh, but I forgot myself. Senator Decoit votes aye. <laughs> Chair, your measures adopted. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. We are adjourned.